In today's projects, we're using Amazing Clearcast. Now let's get the resin ready by measuring out two equal parts of part A and part B. You're going to mix them together using a popsicle stick. Just make sure that you are gently folding the resin together to avoid bubbles and that you're scraping the sides of the cup. Once you're done mixing it for about two minutes, you're going to let it rest for an additional two minutes. For the first bezel, I'm using an image and I'm just going to attach it to the bezel using some Mod Podge. It's really important that you seal the image both on the back and the front multiple times. This will prevent any resin seeping into the image. Pour your first layer of resin into the bezel and let it cure. Next I'm going to create a frame. First I'm going to use a scrap piece of paper, I'm going to cut it down to size and then I'm going to um, create a hole using a punch. Uh, after that I'll glue it onto the top of the cured resin using Mod Podge. Next I added a final layer of resin on top of the paper frame. Now you can add that paper frame directly onto the image and just add one layer of resin, but by adding two it really adds a nice layer of dimension. First I picked the charm that was going to go inside the bezel and I trimmed off the loop using a pair of wire cutters. I next added some black polymer clay to the inside of the bezel and spread it out evenly. Now I wanted some texture in the black polymer clay so I took a rubber stamp and pressed it into the clay and then I added some pearlescent metallic powder just to highlight the grooves. Next I pressed the charm into the pendant. To finish off the pendant I added a layer of Amazing Clear Cast. This gives it a nice finished look and it also seals the charm and the clay. I've already added a piece of cardstock to the back of the bezel and I sealed it with some Mod Podge. Here I'm using a heating tool and some beeswax and I'm just melting it directly into the bezel. As the beeswax begins to cool, it goes from a clear to a cloudy and the paper in the background becomes less visible and that's the look that I was after. One of the reasons why I love using beeswax is because you can add assorted items to the beeswax while it's still soft. So next I'm going to add a charm um, to the center of this bezel and then I'll let it cool. Adding a layer of Amazing Clear Cast to the top of this bezel is both functional and aesthetically pleasing. 
makes the pestle look nice and shiny, but it also keeps the wax from melting and it secures that charm in place. Amazing Clear Cast is like the cherry on top of the sundae. It finishes off the pieces perfectly. Now I have one final project idea for you, and it comes to you from my um, paint cups that I use. Um, and every once in a while I'll go ahead and clean them out if they have too much dry paint in them. And one day I just took out the paint that was in the cup, in the plastic cup, and it accidentally fell upside down um, onto my counter. And I thought, wow, that would make a pretty cool background for a bezel. So I cut it out to size and I sealed it with a little bit of Mod Podge. I added a layer of resin and let it cure. Now once the layer of resin cured, I added some rub-ons, some additional little paint designs, and I sealed it with a final layer of resin. And then my pendants were done. Uh, a very easy technique. Uh, using dried up paint that um, comes from my paint palette cups. For more ideas and tutorials using Amazing Clearcast, visit www.moldputty.com.